Welcome back to the Daily Dose of Alize. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, please. Yes, hit the subscription button. Okay. And also, if you see me in the streets, you know I'm about that heat. No, I'm joking. But anyway, welcome back to the Daily Dose. I'm your host, Alize, and this is a Daily Dose where you already know we stay doing the most period oh, i can't see now hold on <clears throat> all right if you guys want to dm me dm me at alizemills.1 that is my instagram you can dm me okay i actually was able to change my password and stuff also um i am at twitter at, at alize underscore mills <clears throat> my tiktok is also zellin the great i'm gonna create probably a new one uh, that TikTok, I'll just be posting videos. I haven't even posted in a while, but I really want to get have my content on different things. So when you guys follow me, I could show you the previews of what I'm going to talk about. And before I even put it on my YouTube channel, also, I'm going to start doing it on my Snapchat. But um, if you didn't get any of that information, it will be in the link of the description below. You guys will also be seeing a lot more mukbangs as well. I decided that I want a lot more people on my platform. So we're going to be, you know, making it a bigger wide, you know more wider because i want different people and i feel like a lot of people can you know they have voices and you know i like to i like to have fun and i want people who are fun on my channel i don't like people that are boring and the reason i say that is because it's 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 just i don't like people that are not going to i i like you got to bring something to the channel even if i might have a friend or some that friend might work out with me at the gym, whatever it is, whatever the case is. And guys, I'm definitely going to start working out again because I realized that whew, it is time. And it is time for me to stop eating this fast food because, I mean, I could accomplish a lot in, within, what, three to four months of getting this body good? Little chunky monkey here. You see that? But I still love my body at the end of the day. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video this is gonna be <clears throat> me showing y'all a video of my granny pimp slapping somebody on figaro now i'm joking but anyway seriously get excited about your manifestations the reason i wanted to talk about getting excited about your manifestations is because i realized something y'all i have not touched my phone since sunday night for the past three, two, three days, I haven't touched my phone. I have not wanted to talk to anybody. I have not wanted to converse. And it's just, I don't want to talk right now. And it's not because I hate anyone. It's not because people are boring. It's not because of that. But I realized that I was always that type of person that needed, that was afraid of being alone. I want to be okay with being alone. And I want time to focus on re- programming my subconscious beliefs and i cannot focus if i'm hearing everybody else okay i need time to get quiet and i actually had a conversation with my therapist today and i decided to tell her about the story that had happened as what they would call the old story now because i decided to talk to my therapist about this specific story had nothing to do with the individual it did but it wasn't like I was bashing her in any kind of way because my therapist told me what are good things that you liked about this woman what were good qualities that she possessed and I said uh she was very independent and she was very honest she was assertive and you know she was a bit clingy and I do like my women a little bit clingy not too clingy but I do like my women clingy and I'm overprotective as well <clears throat> and to me my therapist act to me my therapist told me she said alizé you was able to talk about her without bashing her because this is the thing i wanted to say get excited about your manifestations i know this is just a side note of what i'm saying i'm talking about right here when i spoke to my therapist I wanted to really be able, like how when I said in my last video, to work through the pain before you can actually recreate the story. Because you don't want to sit here and then not forgive the individual and then you still trying to manifest the outcome with them, but you haven't forgave anything and you're still hurting. Doesn't make sense. So I really have been getting very excited about the things that I'm manifesting because I realized that everything that I'm creating has to start within here. Well, he, 
well here and here and here no i'm joking <laughs> but no everything has to literally start within thyself because you can't manifest if you searching for the answers outside of you so <laughs> so really I was really thinking to myself, I said, okay, so let me think this, let me think about this. I said, I want to get excited about my manifestations. That's why I said, let me take a break from my phone. Let me take a break from people. And I don't want to be bothered right now. I really don't. And the only reason I don't want to be bothered is because I have so much other stuff to work on. I've started to read again and I've started to meditate and do mindful meditation and just be able to show gratitude of what I have. And I'm not saying you have to be grateful in order to manifest, but I'm saying that, you know, to really put myself back in a position of because like I've never really taken time to myself and I want you guys to know that manifesting should be something that is fun manifesting should never be anything that you feel that you're waiting for and you're sitting there and you're looking at the text messages and you're looking at the clock like when is my sp gonna text me oh my god is that my sp oh that's not my sp oh well Oh, it's not working. No. Let me tell you guys something. Last time I manifested a specific person I really, really wanted to be with. And I manifested this girl and didn't even realize that when I finally let go of the outcome, not not when well, I let go of the outcome, like not the outcome. I want to say I let go of the limiting beliefs that I couldn't have what I wanted. And I said, you know what? F it. I can have whatever I want. And I just took a deep breath and said, I trust. And that was it. Within not even a couple of weeks, I promise you, she ended up hitting me up and messaging me right after I just dropped everything, like all the limiting beliefs that I had. And when she ended up hitting me up, I didn't even realize she hit me up. I had to look at my phone and be like, what? I didn't even realize because I started to put my focus somewhere else. I started to put my focus on my work. I started to put my focus on going to work and doing whatever I needed to do. And I started to distract myself with other things. So see things like do things that you like, even if that means if you want to sleep, like right now I'm about to go to sleep because I'm tired. But on an honest note, like it's just like, it, it, it's like get excited about your manifestations because when you get excited about your manifestations, you are already believing that you have it. And I noticed that falling asleep with the beliefs on at night, you know, waking up and stuff. I do have low energy because I have to start really putting healthier foods in my body. Like I realized like when I was doing my fasting and I was doing, I felt so good, so energized. I was running down the halls when I was working. I just felt good. But that's because I was really changing what I was doing with my body. And my body is telling me that I need to work out and working out actually helps me feel a lot better about myself and just in general and it releases I believe uh, it releases a chemical called oxytocin or something like that or it's another chemical I was reading about it in the emotional advantage book it, it releases this uh this endorphin some some shit I don't know but it releases some in the body and it just makes you feel good okay and I said I want to feel good again so I don't want to feel no I don't want to feel like that I want to feel woo. and I learned that when you just start to really and, and this is one thing I also wanted to say I don't want people in my business and the reason I say that's because I this is a side note for so many years my grandmother has always told me that I run my mouth too much and I've always told people my business and what I do so I decided to really like take a step back from people because I really need time to myself and because of everything that's happened to me it's changed my perspective on a lot of things and it's not saying that like I said I just need that mental break and that mental clarity and the reason I need that mental clarity is because I need time to really grow with myself and learn to love myself and really just um uh, assimilate which is another word for adapt to this new lifestyle that I am creating for myself because I am living as the per the version that I want to be rather than having to wait to become that version or something good happening in my life I didn't say I'm going to decide to be happy once I got a job I decided to say I'm going to be happy now because happiness starts with you at the end of the day you were the person that makes the decisions so you can be excited about your manifestations and just look forward and expecting the greatest fucking uh outcome excuse my language but 
the greatest outcome and better the way better than what you've imagined or you could be sitting there moping and and and, and drowning in your sorrow i decided to actually say no i am going to be happy because i have so much to look forward to in my life because everything is turning around everything has sh is literally shifting and i don't even i don't even care or know what's going on behind the scenes but i i don't care because i'm so busy reprogramming my subconscious beliefs i'm so busy taking the time to enjoy the little things in my life and just be happy and know that i'm already creating that happiness within and i'm looking forward to everything that's coming my way because it's coming now as we speak so that's why i said get excited about your manifestations manifesting is supposed to be something fun i was thinking about a lot of stuff y'all thinking about so much like i was this is what i do i wake up i meditate i meditate sometimes twice a day sometimes i do my breathing exercises as well but like i said i need to start yeah i'm getting chunky i need to mm -mm. we need to hit the gym yep <laughs> shoot i was even going as far talking about how i'm gonna turn my room out and and looking at things online i want to buy and just saying this is what i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy me a new chair i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna buy that i want to turn my room out i want it to look nice i want it to look very 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 beautiful and i want it to be something where i could just come in here and be like oh and then you smell the cologne and then you're like oh i look saying nah, nah, nah. you already know what it is but yeah so seriously anyway so <clears throat> i don't like allow anyone in my room i really don't but um no but seriously like i really just started to get like really hella excited about the things that i'm manifesting and it's so crazy because when you start to really and let me tell you something when you want to get over something talking about it with your therapist is great so my therapist called me today and it's like i manifested for my therapist to uh hit me up because subconsciously like i was telling myself i need to talk to my therapist i need to start going to therapy sessions and i need to really just you know really focus more on myself and and, and therapy is the way to go because i've only i've never had consistent therapy sessions so she just out the blue this number called me and i said okay let me answer the phone and she said hey this is samantha no 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 that's my therapist name and i was like oh my god ah. she's so sweet like she she literally when i first started talking to her y'all i cried because i felt like i knew this woman and i felt like she like my roommate told me he was like you have a great therapist like i really feel like she connects with me and she connects more on a spiritual level and it's it's like it, it's so it's so cool to know that it's just not only psych psychologically based but it's mostly spiritual as well because it was just so much like we was connecting and I felt a connection with her off the freaking bat so I have therapy sessions every other week but she told me i can call her ahead of time as well and i spoke to her today and that made me feel so good today and i decided to just look at the good things that are happening because there's so many good things to look forward to get excited about your manifestations because they're already here and it's already done stop looking for don't look out into the circumstances f all that don't worry about this i know i'm still working in i'm still working with myself as well letting go doing inner child healing inner child meditation i got to do that before i go to bed tonight um you know doing these type of things and i put my phone on do not disturb because i just don't feel like talking to nobody because i need time to myself i've always had people in my business or people asking me what's wrong or how you feeling i just want to be left alone right now because right now i need that me time i need that time to really get you know fill up my cup and even when i was talking to my therapist about setting boundaries and stuff i realized the type of relationship she asked me what's the type of relationship that you would like to have i said i want a relationship where we can both communicate with each other and where there are boundaries that are set on both ends and you know also i do want someone who is going to you know come at me in a corrective manner you know not not we don't like arguments are going to happen but we're able to communicate how we feel with each other and we are self-regulating our emotions and she told me see look that right there and when i told her about setting boundaries and what i needed to do she told me now it's time for you to put them into action and blah 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 and i told her that is x y and z and then i told her that's true because i've had a hard time with setting boundaries for myself and now that i've realized all these things within myself and my self-conception and i'm just and i'm waking up every morning and doing and have a set schedule for myself to change that and to also bring that happiness within myself and to love myself and to just love 
love myself the way I am. I'm not going to love myself when I get fit because I already know ladies finna be in my DMs already in my DMs right now. But still, straight up, I'm already knowing. But it's going to be, I'm going to be rejecting like, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. And let me tell you something. It's okay to reject your specific person too. Your specific person show up to you right now and they say they want to be with you. Tell them, mm, I'll think about it. Watch them want you more. Tell them you, I, I don't know if I want to be in a relationship right now. I'm, I'm focusing on me right now. That's going to make them want you more. They going to put you on a pedestal. They going to chase you. You want to know why? Because you made the decision that you're worthy and that you are the star. They are not. And I told myself, uh, baby, I'm the star. I am the star. So I'm going to act like it. Period. So get excited about what you're manifesting. Whoosh. See, you saw how I did that? Ooh, you see that? You see that? You see? You see? That's how your manifestation going to be. It's just going to come. You're not even going to know. It's, you couldn't even see my hands, baby. Ooh, see? You couldn't even see it. Oh, snap. Right in your face. And you're just going to be like, oh, Alice A was right. The daily dose of Alice A was right. But yeah, I need to start eating healthier because my body is just not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I had an apple yesterday. That apple was bomb. This is on a side note. Apples are bomb. And if honestly, the key to my heart, the key to my heart is none of your damn business. <laughs> No, but seriously, get excited about your manifestations, okay? Stop sitting there. Mm, I'm waiting on Charlie to text me. Or I'm waiting on Amy to hit me up. I'm, I'm waiting on... No, F them. Not like that, but F them. Because when they do come back, you ain't finna notice it. You won't be too busy indulging in yourself, loving on you. And, you know, make it love to you, <laughs> baby. Okay. And then they're going to come. Amy going to be like, oh, my God. Josh, he works out now. He looks good. He's, oh, what? Girl, I hit him up and he rejected me. Next thing you know, Charlie going to be like, damn, man. I can't believe, uh, you know, April, man. She been, she been giving me the side eye. Sarah, she, you know, she ain't talking to me, whatever your name is. I don't know, April, Sarah, Sunny, I don't know. Shoot, Cat, I don't know. But anyway, uh, you know, she ain't been talking to me, man. Man, yo, I hit her up. You know, I hit her up. And she told me I'll get back to you. That's unlike her. She never do that. She always, she always answering my call. She always answering my text messages. She always hitting me up. She always blowing me up. What was changed? Now she... Oh, she all up in the gym, working out, eating out, all these guys on her and stuff. Man, I don't like this. I don't know about that. You know, man, I'll... that's going to make them want you more because you don't really put yourself in a position of knowing your worth and knowing what you deserve. And you might not even want to be with that person no more. Have y'all ever manifested somebody and you was just like, I manifested this person. And now that I this person wants me, I don't really want them because I met somebody else and that person is way better than them that can happen too it really does like dead serious but on an honest note get excited about that car you want get excited about that crib you want get excited about being a youtuber get excited about getting that promotion get excited about you know beating up jane doe get excited about all that stuff because when you get it don't go out there beating up nobody <laughs> Because your manifestations are already yours. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And share with your granny. Because your granny gonna love me. She probably gonna think I'm a boy. I'm not a boy. You know what's interesting? A lot of people or a lot of guys have called me a guy before. But I don't get offended because I'm just like, okay. I'm like, it's okay. But you can see my chest. I have a bi I have big boobs. So I don't understand how do you miss that. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I could kind of see it. But then I don't see it. And then I'm just like, they was like, oh, my bad, sir. Oh, 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 you're a woman. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. And I'm like, y'all act like I'm finna fight y'all. Like, I don't fight dudes. Like.
I'll probably sling that iron though. I will do that. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, you feel me? If you look, if y'all on a side note though, if y'all is not treating y'all women right, don't be getting upset when they want to come to studs. I don't like I don't want to consider myself a stud. I just want to consider my myself as a woman that just likes to dress masculine honestly and the only reason i say this because i know i look good in it i look way too good to be wearing this i look way too good to be getting with you know i look way too good to be uh, i'm conceited i got a reason see like i like shorts like these like look at my shorts these are my basketball shorts and i'm gonna get back into basketball too y'all i'm gonna buy me a basketball and i'm gonna just throw it at people's heads I'm going to end this video now. I think that was a little too violent. Bye!